Well, hi. Um, welcome to another queer, explosive episode of Queer Zone. This week we're back in the studio again and we're at 30 minutes. I'm Jason. And I'm JJ. So welcome to the show, Queer Zone. Mm, so how have you been, mate? I've been well. And yourself? Pretty good, pretty good. So we're going to be um, heading off into bright new summer soon. Summer. So... Looking forward to summer. I'm over winter, although I do love winter clothes. And I hear you broke up with your boyfriend as well, honey. Ooh, I don't know if we should talk about that. I don't think oh. he has Channel 31, so I think it's safe. No, yeah. it was an amicable agreement, yeah. Mm -hmm. Move on, plenty more fish in the sea, you know what oh, they say. Oh, yes, there's nothing like freedom, is there? Yeah. Mm. Single again. Single. Um, what's been happening with you, JJ? Oh, I'm single too, so... I, I think yeah. we should go out on the prowl this weekend together. You reckon? Yeah. yeah, I need a bit of tushy. There's lots of stuff coming up that we have to attend to, so... Oh, um, yeah. OK, what's coming up? We've got the P-Flag Under 18's disco, actually. That should be exciting. Did you ever go to a blue light disco? Uh, yeah, I did go to a lot of blue light discos when I was younger. <laughs> Back in our day, that was what was on. But these days they have a minus 18 uh, disco. Where's that held, mm -hmm. JJ? Um, that's going to be at Three Faces and it's going to be $10 entry. Um, soft drinks included. Mm, mm. Don't go <laughs> over the top with that soft raspberry. Soft drink on tap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, when's that? Okay, well that's coming up at Three Faces on Wednesday the 10th of September. Wednesday night. Mm. It's a school night too. I know, <laughs> so be rad and get out there and go. Yeah, I remember. So what, what, memories. Yeah, so what else have you been up to? Oh, jeez. Oh, I've got to go to court tomorrow, so I'm going to kick ass in court. Court tomorrow? That's yeah. a bit interesting. What's all that about? Yeah, I'm just, I'm going to blow the roof. You're going to nail someone to the wall, I'm going to nail someone to the wall. <laughs> I'm sure they deserve it. Anyone who's crossed you, mm. send them to me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so what else have we got coming up? Okay, well, Joy Melbourne, they'll be back on air in September. September the 20th, I think it is. Mm -hmm. Yep, and they're going to have the last days of disco. <laughs> it looks like a fantastic movie. I love disco. How about you? Um, yeah, not I've not, seen you no. have a bit of a disco dance around town. No, I'm a bit of an anti-disco punkette. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's going to be um, held um, on the 17th of September. Mm -hmm. And that also includes uh, entry to Revolver Nightclub and you can get tickets to that at Hair and Hyenas and Outlook mm -hmm. store. Yeah, so pop on down to Hairs and Hyenas because they're very helpful. Yeah. Yes. Okay, and there's also an amnesty benefit um, for a human rights network. That's at Saturday the 19th of September at Jane's Bar at the Dome. At the Dome. We've been there before. Mm. Have you been there before? No, I haven't actually. <laughs> <laughs> so that should be Sorry. lots of fun. Amnesty is a great cause, <laughs> so everyone should go yeah. along to that. Yeah. Um, make a donation to Amnesty, mm. looking after... Did, did you pop on down to Q&A when they had the Amnesty benefit there? I saw there? you there. I saw you. Yeah. That was a really good night. That was Another fantastic. fun Amnesty... Um, fundraiser. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I believe we've actually got our very own Bent TV fundraiser coming up soon as well. Oh, dear. And that's on a Sunday night at the Star Hotel. Mm, that's all the famous tryhards down here at Channel 31. <laughs> <laughs> so if you'd like to come along and see JJ and myself, we'll be there. Uh, Trying very hard. Yeah. Uh, a fundraiser to keep Bent TV on air. And if you want to also recover from the Eclipse Dance Party, which is a fundraiser mm. also, everyone's raising funds to look after their valuable causes as well. Yeah. So that's um, Saturday night with the Eclipse Dance Party, mm -hmm. which I believe is at Wall Street. Oh, right. Mm, which is a good Street. venue. Mm -hmm. And it's fun, uh, fundraising for Midsummer Carnival, which is fun. Do you like Midsummer? Yeah, I have fun at Midsummer, yeah. Like I say, I can't wait for the summer to come. Yeah. Fair, yeah. What's, what's it, fair Day, is that what's it called? Fair Day, It's yeah. always summer, always nice. I want to just go barefoot and feral this summer. Barefoot, Just I think I'll do that too. Barefoot and yeah. feral, yeah. But as I said, we're looking forward to the winter months going and summer coming. Mm hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Break out. Although he's been cosy with someone during winter, oh. keeping warm. Ooh. Is there, is there any, truth in that, uh, in, any truth in that rumour? Ah. 
Okay, <laughs> so what's coming up next? We've got to... Um... Well, coming up next, we're going to take a look at the night that uh, we went to Amnesty for a fundraiser mm -hmm. and you wore a very gorgeous mauve wig. Mm -hmm. I didn't even recognise you. I know, and it's bizarre how all you boys appeared, you know? You was that of, kind of whole Courtney? Sort of snobbed yeah. me off like, who's this straight bitch, you know, with the <laughs> wig, you know? Well, I thought it was Courtney Love. Those <laughs> clip pins and so forth. And that gorgeous... Um, I wish, I That wish. gorgeous dress. I know. So um, I think we should take, take a look at that. Mm -hmm. um, once again, it was a fundraiser for Amnesty. Mm -hmm. And um, we were there and it was um, a great night. So let's yeah. take a look at that. Um, we had a chat to heaps of people there. Mm -hmm. And... Yes. Um, <laughs> and yeah, so yeah. coming up next, Amnesty International. International.
International. Mm -hmm. They've given us a special little cup here. Mm -hmm. And they were just a fantastic bunch down there, weren't they? It was a great night. Yeah. Great night. Fantastic. What a buzz. And coming up next, we have got... Our very own special Lindsay. That's me. <laughs> and we're talking books. It's open page with Lindsay. It is open page time. Do you want me to start or are you guys going to We'd take it We'd like to see away? what you've got there because I can see you've like... got some fabulous books there. Well, of course. Now, I'm unashamedly going to say that I didn't read this. Which camera do I point this at? That one there. Thank you, Jason. Um, no, it's tiny. Fabulous. Now, I have to admit, I haven't read this because it's a, it's a biog, but it has some fabulous pictures of the woman herself, Alanis Morissette. We love Alanis Morissette. Oh, and she's just mm -hmm. heaven. I mean, she's got guts. She's got one hand in her pocket and the other one on a cigarette or something. And she's <laughs> <laughs> a fabulous coffee You know I'm into coffee table books. I can't resist it because if you have a coffee table book, you can always judge the personality of your friends. Okay. That's what I have found. Except when they pick up, pick up your little catechism from when you were a Catholic. That's always a wild But Alana's fans have probably seen oh. this, read and waiting for the next one. But it really is worthwhile. So get mm. a hold of it if you can. Yeah. yeah I'd so be a bit concerned seeing that in someone's de uh, desktop. I would possibly yeah. think that... Um, there might be a bit angst-ridden and maybe manic to well, person. I guess it is one of those books, Jason, that if you need a bit of angst, I mean, she's put the words to her songs here, oh. so you can just yell around. They're not particularly around, uplifting you know? songs either. <laughs> no, well, I don't know. My name is Alanis. I'm just 16, so give me a break. I'm no disco queen, hey? <laughs> <laughs> so we love sad. a disco queen. I do love a disco queen. Now, have you guys got something for me, perhaps? I've got two special books here. Oh, wow. I'll hold them up to Tony. I've got The Rough Guide to Greece. The Rough gr yeah, Guide? The Rough Guide, and I've got The Rough Guide mm. to Italy. I think oh. Greece would be a lot more rougher than Italy. Well, so would I. You know, <laughs> how do you separate two Greek men? Uh, <laughs> um, we actually make a mention here, they actually have specific gay and lesbian uh, mentions. Uh, in Greece, it's still against the law, homosexuality. Really? I find that hard to believe because that's... But um, um, they also make an exception and talk about Mykonos, which is... Uh, Apparently the biggest uh, gay resort destination in Europe, of course. Why is it called the Rough Guide to Italy? I mean, it, it is a smooth mm. cover. I mean, <laughs> I'm really, this is, this, but there's nothing rough about this. I mean, what? And aren't the yes. men are the men smooth in Italy or in Greece, or are they rough? Are well, they, do they, they, they like to shave more don't or something? Or? Well, I don't know. Some of the Greek men I've seen down the beach have been pretty hairy. You know? yeah. But is it my turn again? Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm unashamedly. <laughs> I know. I think I've done this one before on an open page, but I cannot help but. <gasps> Just, oh. I mean, these two are just gorgeous. I believe they I could just not cheering. imagine waking up between those two hideous things. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you had the back of your leg slapped? <laughs> I know. This is, it is just hair. Actually, the thing about this book that I really like, and a friend was over the other night, and the acknowledgements are just too much. They right. are really, really funny. And as um, Clarissa says in the acknowledgement, she doesn't mind being big and fat, but when she's called a lady, it's like being called a, a public uh, Alrighty, <laughs> We're going to cut to a break. Are we? Oh, so I don't get to talk about the two girls anymore. Oh. I say we talk about this one just after the break. We'll continue with that. Stay mm -hmm. watching us. And we'll see you soon. <laughs> Welcome back. We are now, now going back to Open Page, page. Open with Lindsay. Page. Yes, Some I know. From Lindsay. It's me again. Now, I actually, this one has actually been around for a while as well, Gay and After. And um, look, I have to be really honest, I did read a little bit of this and I find these books, they're informative, but I find them a little bit depressing because, I mean, for me, I've never had a problem about being gay. I was well, just likewise sort of, as well. Yeah, so. I was just born yeah. out and I stopped reading it actually when he criticised the Pet Shop Boys. I just thought, well, how dare you? <laughs> but, um, I just the Pet Shop Boys, that's sacrilege. I know it's sacrilege, oh. so that was it. I, I threw it under the sofa and that's where it stayed. But um, a friend of mine read it and she found it heaven and um, and she said, yeah, she didn't know what my problem was with it. But I, I just find books like this are depressing. But mm. it is a nice cover again. I do like covers. I always like talking about covers of books. What's on the cover? Um, I don't know, but it's effective. It looks like a boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a sepia cover. Which again, looks very nice on one's coffee table. Now, we have a competition, I believe, too, oh, don't we? A competition, we do. About these. Yeah. Yes, now, if, um, because we talked about Alanis Morissette this evening, um, ring Bent TV offices, and if you can tell us, like you know, the one I've got one hand in my pocket and the other hand doing, the most creative answer to that <laughs> wins these two books. <laughs> so I've got one hand in my pocket and the other hand mm -hmm. doing you win what? the books. Mm. So, and I'm sorry that you know I haven't got anything else to sort of give you. Good but, books. Oh, good, they're good fabulous. Price. And of course, the two fat ladies, no one's getting that from me. That is my mind, my mind, my mind. <laughs> I sleep with these girls. 
so we have to get everyone to call our office here at 9663-5902 mm -hmm. and it's the most creative message that you leave and we want to hear some exciting stuff. And we not, do. The, not, the, not that Lindsay advocates masturbation. Oh no, I don't know. I have a <laughs> yes, We could talk about religion, but we won't at this stage. How about Andy Warhol, JJ? Andy Warhol? Oh yeah, I've got yeah. him down here. Do we have time for him? Because yeah, he's my very favourite man of all time. He was a bit of a tripper in the 60s, eh? He? he was. Now, I, I have actually reviewed from A to B and back again, which is, um, which is a fabulous book. Andy actually wrote that. This is by, um, what's his name, Fred Whatever, who was um, Andy Warhol's closest friend. Oh, look, there's a bound thing in there. So <laughs> <laughs> um, Good we have mark. read a lot of this one. We have, but um, <laughs> this one is actually belongs to a friend of mine. He'd be really pleased to see it. And we both love Andy. It's again one of those books. It is heavy going because it just there's so much information. But get into it. If you love Andy, you'll just get so much out of this. And no viewer, you can't have this one. <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it, Andy. Okay. Yeah. That's been a really good cross section, hasn't it, really? Mm. Most definitely. Some yeah. good reading there. Yeah. I'll have to bring yeah. in, um, well, we could review our diaries next week or a pamphlet from the local takeaway <laughs> store. <laughs> the menu, yeah, definitely. The menu, yeah. yeah. So I think we're getting a wind up, we aren't we? Are. Okay. Oh, we're now joined by the ever gorgeous Yumi. <laughs> Hi, Jason. Hi, Hi JJ. Hi. Hi. Hello, you. <laughs> <laughs> And you've got some horoscopes there, I believe. All right, I'm just ah. going to go straight into it. So listen up, all you people out there who want to know what's going on for the next couple of weeks in your lives. Aries. Aries, that's me. That's oh. Jason. I that well, Jason, often you rush in where faggots fear to tread. <laughs> <laughs> Football fields, the Chevron, stylus, Portman's. <laughs> your courage, while, while occasionally impressive, can be as funny as the straight couple on the dance floor of three faces drunkenly groping each other <laughs> <laughs> and feeling just so groovy. <laughs> it's time, darling, to stop. Suppress your spontaneous curiosity. Mm. We only need to imagine what it's like to go with a humongous hangover to Sizzler Family Restaurant on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> okay. I think I have to avoid you after the show about this horoscope and find your sources on this. Taurus. That's me. You're craving, <laughs> Lindsay, you're craving fluff. Oh, but all you're getting is heavy stuff and the way you're dealing with it is really, really bad. If you can't get trade, don't substitute meaningless sex for sex, which may be misconstrued as relationship building sex. We all get horny, especially with spring fever in the air. Oh yeah. Leave it up, <laughs> leave it up, but go home. Masturbation for the next fortnight is going to be fantastic. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. There's so much more to it, isn't there? Gemini, two words of advice for the two-faced bitches at home. Listen. <laughs> Don't be pushy with your family <coughs> and lovers. You're going to act like an asshole, say something really stupid and alienate people with very long memories. Oh, and I thought mine was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your mouth shut. Pretend, and this is the good bit, just pretend for a minute that you're a mature, thoughtful, kind and caring adult. Okay, advice number two, you're attracted to pornographers, prostitutes and drug dealers. Okay, we accept that. Steer clear just for this week and also give astrologers a wide berth. <laughs> I think that's good advice to everyone. Okay, <laughs> cancer, bowel, you've got six months to live. <laughs> it's making you a little crabby, sorry. <gasps> Leo, Leo is just me, 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 me. Just stop it, okay? <laughs> Obnoxious. Try and see yourself from other people's perspectives and not just to imagine how your butt looks from behind, okay? <laughs> Those of you in relationships are getting a little bit weird. Um, the term bunny boiler may apply to you within the next couple of weeks if you're not careful. So don't try and relate to people by invading their headspace. Just swallow your lion's pride, retract your claws, and join in the gentle purr of love. Okay, Virgo. Group sex. Group sex. Group sex. That's not grope sex. Group sex, okay? <laughs> New acquaintances will help you to enlighten your ass and That's let the world in. New acquaintances. <laughs> go with the flow, darling. Go, go, go. Those of you too inhibited to make the jump to adventure, stop clutching your hymens. Throw away your rosary beads and mix yourself a prune, jo prune juice. <laughs> Join in the spring fever. All right. 
good. Is that your star sign by any chance? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm the two-faced bitch, actually. Ah, yeah. <laughs> With that, this week you may feel you're scaling a mountain, and when you weigh it all up, it seems you're on the downside. All your life you've felt like you've been fighting a battle both for acceptance and against your upbringing. Suddenly, this week is going to feel like that fight is gone in fast motion. All these steps that have taken you a long time are going really fast. This is called progress, so don't fight it. Focus and enjoy. Scorpio, I've got some interesting advice for you. Cut down on the drugs this week. <laughs> no more ease, no more coke, and no more macchiato, okay? <laughs> what you need to do is get out into the real world, relate to real people without the chemical charm, okay, that you tend to rely on. Cut down on the uppers and get into the downers. I'm talking herbal teas, long baths, and reruns of Full House, which will send <laughs> anyone to a near-death experience. <laughs> Sagittarius, your life is poo. <laughs> poo, not just poo, poo after a big Mexican meal with lots of beer. <laughs> Turn around and face your own shit. You don't have to be stuck in the toilet forever. If you're down in the dumps, Pick yourself up and take a good, long, hard look at yourself. <laughs> Listen to what your mother always said. What are you going to do with your life? <laughs> when are you going to go and get a job? Make sure you wear clean undies, okay? <laughs> okay, and Capricorn. Stop, please, being vain and self-interested. It's time to practice some humility. <laughs> this is JJ, by the way. So JJ, baby! <laughs> okay, What'd you so say, bitch? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. She's the two-faced okay. bitch, don't mess with her. Humility. So, as a humility exercise for all you Capricorns out there, walk down the street, please, in last season's horrendous lime green short sleeve shirt. Oh. With thongs Different, uh, and Lindy Chamberlain mm. socks, if you can. Slight Madonna look there. <laughs> <laughs> for once, Give more than you get, both head and schmoozy drinks at the bar. Mm. If you don't, you'll get absolutely none of both, head and free drinks. No. And we won't we like know how drinks. much you hate that, JJ. <laughs> okay. Zodiac, the queerest sign in the... Z Sorry, Aquarius. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ahead of myself. Aquarius, you are the queerest sign in, in the um, Zodiac. I've got... Wait. Just wait. Mm -hmm. Sit. <laughs> Okay, that's it. <laughs> Pisces, buy yourself a puzzle book. You need stimulation for once above the belt. Get involved with numbers, gambles, get gamble, get a parking fine, ring a 0055 number, memorize your bike lock number, count sheep, and or for the you know numbers thing, get in touch with a traditionally uptight Virgo and suggest some group sex. <laughs> and they just might be up for it. Also, stay away from any Sagittarius's toilets. They're going through some heavy stuff and big Mexican food and beer binges. 